liftoff of the Delta rocket carrying blast. Since the start of space exploration, rockets have been indispensable tools for researchers. They are crucial for getting satellites and spacecraft into Earth orbit and beyond. Many of today's space-based scientific and technological advantages would not exist without the development of rockets. Exploration missions are one of the most important uses of rockets in the field of space science. Spacecraft are sent into space through rockets, and from there they can visit other celestial bodies including planets, moons, and asteroids. The composition and behavior of celestial bodies and the possibility of finding extraterrestrial life Rockets are also used to send satellites into Earth's orbit. These satellites are essential for global communication, weather forecasting, and navigation systems. They allow people all over the world to communicate with each other and access information in real time. But sometimes, due to odd factors, rocket launches fail, costing millions of dollars. In some cases, the failure may be due to a technical glitch or human error during the launch process. Despite the risks, space agencies continue to invest in rocket launches to explore and discover new frontiers in space. Let's take a look at the top 5 most expensive rocket launch failures. A Delta III rocket lifted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida, on May 27, 1999. Laurel Space and Communications Orion 3 Communications Satellite was aboard the rocket. However, shortly after liftoff, the rocket began to drift off course and then exploded. A fuel line rupture in the rocket's first stage engine led to the explosion. The rocket and the Orion 3 satellite were both destroyed by the blast. Laurel Space and Communications and the entire communications sector took a major hit when the Orion 3 satellite was destroyed. The US Air Force investigated the accident, which ultimately resulted in enhanced procedures for ensuring product quality in the aerospace sector. Four cluster spacecraft were launched on board an Ariane 5 rocket on June 4, 1996, by the European Space Agency to investigate the planet's magnetic field. But only 37 seconds after takeoff, the rocket went off course and exploded. The rocket lost control owing to a software glitch in the navigation system, which led to the explosion. To ensure that no rocket parts landed in inhabited areas, the self-destruct mechanism was set off. For the European Space Agency and the scientific community, the loss of the four-cluster spacecraft was a major setback. In 2000, the mission was successfully relaunched with an updated Ariane 5 rocket. The onboard computers decided 501 was 90 degrees off course. The United States Air Force launched a Titan IV rocket from Cape Canaveral, Florida, on April 30, 1999. The Milstar-1 military communications satellite was on board the rocket. The rocket, however, went off course a few seconds after takeoff and eventually exploded. A malfunction in the rocket's navigation system led to the explosion. Two separate guidance systems were built into the rocket, but a software glitch made them both ineffective at the same moment, resulting in the rocket's loss of control. The destruction of the Milstar-1 satellite was a major defeat for American military communications. The U.S. Air Force looked into the incident, and the findings improved the accuracy of future launches' guidance systems. One of NASA's most devastating and well-known mishaps was the loss of the Space Shuttle Challenger. The Challenger exploded 73 seconds into its flight on January 28, 1986, killing all seven people aboard. The tragedy caused widespread panic and halted the United States space program. A seal failure on one of the solid rocket boosters allowed hot gases to escape, which then ignited the fuel tank, causing disaster. Launch failure occurred on this crewed space mission for the first time ever. In the aftermath of the Challenger accident, Space Shuttle missions were grounded for over two years. Safety and dependability in space exploration were also brought to light by the tragedy. After the Challenger accident, the space industry redoubled its efforts to ensure the highest standards of quality and safety. NASA made a number of adjustments to the shuttle program, 
including a more thorough testing and review process for all parts of shuttle launches and upgrades to the design of the solid rocket boosters. The Space Shuttle Columbia made its debut flight in 1981, making it the first orbiter in NASA's shuttle series. On its 28th mission, the Columbia tragically disintegrated upon re-entry on February 1, 2003, killing all seven of its crew members. The disaster was caused by damage to the shuttle's heat shield, which occurred during launch when a piece of foam insulation from the external tank struck the shuttle's left wing. The Columbia catastrophe is remembered as a pivotal moment in space history and a stark reminder of the difficulties and dangers that accompany every human mission into space. It's a moving tribute to those who perished in the line of duty and to the never-ending quest for scientific knowledge. Safety, quality control, and teamwork are only a few of the many components of space exploration that have been reinforced by lessons learned from the catastrophe. In conclusion, Rocket launch failures can have significant consequences, both financially and for the progress of space science and technology. Each of these failures highlights the need for continuous improvement and rigorous testing in the aerospace industry to ensure the safety and success of future missions.